Hi everyone, this is Tim with TC Home Inspections. Today's topic is how to perform a proper and accurate radon test so that when you buy or sell a property, you know the radon testing performed was done accurately. Well, there are really two things to ensure that you have a proper radon test. The first thing you should know, number one, is what type of device is being used to record the test results. And number two, how is that device used inside the property? So that's what we're gonna be talking about. The first item is, in my opinion, you should use, and this has been an industry standard for many years for radon testing, you should use a device called a radon continuous monitor. And what that is, is a computerized device, device that's being left in the home for usually a two day, 40 hour period in which that device is continually recording the radon level inside that property. What a radon monitor does is it records every hour on the hour for two days or it's EPA approved for a 48 hour test. And that's considered a short term test. The EPA says that's appropriate for a real estate transaction. And the reason that's so important is because radon levels, they're never constant. They change all the time. So if you just take one test, you're not gonna get a good picture, if you will, of the radon level inside that home. So by using a radon continuous monitor, you're basically getting a test every hour on the hour for two days. And then you take the average of those readings and the device that we use does this automatically, that will give you the average score for that two day test. The other item you need to know to make sure you have an accurate radon test perform is the placement of that monitor in the property. Well, the EPA has standards of practice, recommendations where the radon monitor should be placed. And let me go through that now. They state that it should be placed in the lowest livable area of your home. And in Michigan, we have crawl spaces. That does not mean a crawl space. That means in most properties, the basement. That's an area that's considered livable that people will enter on a regular basis. So the first thing to know is place the monitor in a location that is considered the lowest livable area of the home. Number two, during that test period, the radon monitor should be placed where windows and doors remain closed to the exterior of the property. You should also have that monitor placed a minimum of 20 inches off the floor. And in our company, we use um, tripods. We place the monitors on the tripods to ensure you have the proper distance above the floor surface. And then also you should have a minimum of 12 inches between the walls and the monitor. And then finally, because radon is affected by airflow within the home, it is a good idea to have the radon in an open area you want it um, not in a closed environment. You don't want it in a closed um, uh, room, for example, where the furnace is located. You want it outside that room. Um, those are really EPA guidelines that our company follows when we do a continuous monitor radon test. Sometimes people will say, you know, I've lived in this home for 20 years, raised my family here, never had a problem, never had anybody in my neighborhood with cancer. To my knowledge, none of my neighbors have radon problems. Those are commonly said to us, but it really doesn't matter to us because what matters is the test that we perform inside that particular home that we're working on. That's what's important. So if anyone does question the efficacy of our test, we do two things. We will photograph the monitor placement. We will include that in the inspection report. So if anyone asks, they question the um, placement of the device, we have proof to show where it was placed. And number two, if someone questions the efficacy, our devices, continuous monitors in general, have to be recalibrated every 12 months. And our devices that we use, um, we actually get emails, notifications from the manufacturer about all of our devices. They track our serial numbers when they were calibrated last and they give us an email, they send an email saying, it is time to have the monitor recalibrated to make sure it is efficacious. And so in the event we were to not do that, that device would not work. It just simply would not function properly. So again, those are two things that we do to ensure that our clients 
the sellers, the buyers, the realtors, anyone involved in that sales transaction knows that test was performed accurately. Again, great on monitors, continuous monitors are best because they have to be recalibrated. We take a picture of that device while it's functioning in the report. And then we also can prove at any time that we have a certificate um, that shows calibration was done within a 12 month period. So those are some really important things to know about radon testing to ensure that it is done properly. It's done according to EPA standards. At our company, we have literally done thousands of radon tests over the years, and all those guidelines are followed with every test that we perform. If you do have any questions about radon testing that we can help you with, please give us a call. We'd be more than happy to help you give us a thumbs up, and we will see you on the next home inspection video.